Welcome back. Now we will try to understand uh, about digital image formats. And before going to the digital image formats, uh, let's have a look at the digital image which you have already studied in the previous lectures. The image is produced by electro optical sensors which are on board the satellite carrying the sensor and it's composed of tiny equal areas or picture elements abbreviated as pixels and each pixel is has an associated number called as digital number or the brightness value i mean it represents the level of energy higher the value higher the reflecting energy higher will uh, will be the num uh, you know uh, digital number or the brightness value so here if you see lower value of 10 represents lower reflecting energy and higher value of 26 represents higher value of uh, reflected energy now multi spectrally remote sensed image is uh, you know captured in different spectra spectral re range by sensors on board the se sensors which are placed on the uh satellite have uh, you know uh, different detectors for detecting images in different spectral ranges and the, which gives rise to different bands of images this is band 1 band 2 band 3 and band 4 and uh, representing different ranges of wavelengths in which the uh, images have been captured and you can see the difference you can see uh, the difference in the images that have been captured in the uh, different wavelengths. Now, what are the different digital image data formats uh, in which the data is stored? First is the band sequential format, then band interleave by line format, then band interleave by pixel format. Now, each of these formats is usually preceded by header or trailer information we have a header or trailer information which uh, gives you some information about the ancillary data such as date of capture of the image altitude of the sensor when the image was captured attitude sun angle and these things are required when you are geometrically or radiometrically correcting the data so this is the ancillary information that have uh, that are that are associated with these data formats now trying to know about band sequential sequential format now data for single band for uh, single band for entire scene is written on as one file means each band has a separate file band 1 has a separate file band 2 has a separate file and band 3 has a separate file and uh, uh, the second band interleave by uh, line means data for all bands are written line by line on the same file now here we have to understand that the information from all bands is stored on a, on in a same file how it is stored stored line to line you can see here these are one two and three bands and the information regarding uh, band one is written in the first line then information then data of the band second then data of ba band three then again data of band four if we have multiple uh, more than three bands it will it will have band four band five band six then uh, repeated in the second line we have band band one data band two data band three data now uh, these are going to have some advantages and disorder advantages we can uh, have those in the next slide uh, before that we can uh, have a look at band interleave by pixel now as the line was stored for each band in a single file here data for the pixels in all bands are written together means uh, pixel 1 from one band then in, in the in the then pixel uh, 2 carries ba band 2 data pixel 3 carries band 3 data then pixel 4 again carries band 1 data then band 2 data band band 3 data had there been the uh, you know um, more than three bands the uh, information which would have been uh, pixel 1 band 1 pixel 2 band 2 pixel 3 band 3 pixel 4 from band 4 pixel 5 from band 5 likewise so this is called as band interleave by pixel this is how the it is stored in the 
same file and same file but here each band has having separate file now what are the advantages and disadvantages of these things band um, sequential format uh, in uh, now uh, the area in if we want an area in the center of the scene if we want an area in the center of a scene to be studied this is what we have to study we would need to extract you know uh, the information of, of this area from four separate files to extract the desired information because each band information is stored in se in a separate file so we need to deal with four separate files to extract the information of this location the data of this location for for their study now with this band interleave uh, by line method or band interleave by pixel uh, if all the bands are to be used in analysis this is going to be very useful if all the bands are to be used but if some bands are not of our interest then this this problem uh, this uh, format has a problem and is inefficient since uh, we have the undesired information we don't want to study all the bands but you have a compulsion that information for all the bands is provided in in this format so what are the different uh, data formats uh, that are provided by different uh, you know uh, satellite sensors iconos data is provided in G, in a geotiff format and uh, ndc in uh, india supplies irs list 1 list 2 list 3 and list 4 data in superstructure or uh, yeah or fast format and uh, stereo data of cartosat 1 is provided in geotiff format let's have a look at uh, some popular raster data file formats this is portable network graphics png provides well compressed lossless compression and jpeg 2000 this is an open source raster format allows both lossy and lossless compression then jp jpeg format uh, jpeg file interchange format a standard compression technique for storing full color grayscale now digital raster graphics binary file then enhanced compressed wavelet uh, ecw then very popular tagged image file format that is tiff this format is associated with scanners and saves scanned images and reads them and it stores uh, you know uses compression techniques of run length uh, or other compression schemes for uh, you know data compression we also have geo tagged image formats now uh, the tiff format uh, when having uh, you know lat long information at the edges of the pixels uh, enriches it with more information uh, so we call that as geo tiff format likewise we have digital elevation model which gives you the elevation values over a topographic surface and we also have in windows we have bitmap bmp device independent bitmap Uh, DIB format or Microsoft Windows bitmap format. This is for uh, Windows bitmap images. So these are different kinds of raster formats, and that's all about the raster data formats. I hope.